Hi there, now today's video comes to you due to popular demand. Many of you would have seen one of my recent videos on the five minute scalping strategy. The link is above if you haven't already seen it, so check it out after this video. Many of you have written to me telling me how well it's been working for you, so that's absolutely great. But I've also had quite a few requests asking me to expand on the video and to show the strategy on a real price chart, and that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. I also want to expel the myth that trading is complicated. Often the most simplest of strategies are the most profitable. And boy, is this a simple strategy. It should take you less than 10 minutes to learn and it could change the way you've been trading forever. Now, before I forget, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And make sure you hit that notification icon. So the moment I release my next video, you're gonna be notified. So sit back, take notes, and enjoy. Okay, so here we are on the screens. Now I'm just gonna go through a quick summary of the five minute scalping strategy. Um, if you haven't already watched the other video, I encourage you to do so at some point. Um, but this, as I say, is a quick summary so you get an idea of what we'll be looking for when we get on to the chart in a moment. I'll remove my video now so you don't get distracted and we'll get straight into it. Okay, so first off, we need to determine the direction of the trade. And we use an anchor chart, the higher time period chart. In this example, it's the one hour chart to determine whether we're gonna be sellers or indeed buyers. The eight and the 21 moving averages are the averages we use. For sells, the eight has to be below the 21 and price below. And for buys, the eight has to be above the 21 and price above these moving averages. If the price dips below the moving averages, the trade is not on. Okay, so you can see on this example, on the one hour chart, that's our anchor chart, price is above the eight and the 21 moving average. So we're looking for buy trades only. We then drill down to our trading chart. On this example, it's the five minute chart. You can also use this scalping strategy, incidentally, on the 15 minute chart, do some back testing. And we're looking for the fanned out moving averages, nicely fanned out, the eight, the 13, and the 21. Looking for price to pull back into the eight moving average. There you see a touch at the um, eight moving average. That becomes our trigger bar. We now have to count back five bars. One, two, three, four, five. And we enter a buy stop order, three pips above the highest of those five bars. So it will be three pips above there. We can then establish our risk by placing our stop order three pips below the trigger bar. So this is now our risk. So once we've established our risk, we position size accordingly so that the maximum we lose on this trade, if it does hit our stop, will be a predetermined percentage of the account. Once you've established the initial risk, you can put in your profit target, which is one times the initial risk. If prices move up to take out the first profit target, we exit half the trade and move the balance to break even. We can then put in our profit target two, which will be two times the initial risk. The exact reverse for sell trades. Here you can see the one hour anchor chart. Price is below the eight and the 21 moving average. We're looking for sell trades only. Drilling down to the entry chart, the five minute chart. Looking at price here, looking for a pullback into the eight moving average. There you go. That is our trigger bar. We can count back five bars now and enter a sell stop. Three pips below the lowest of those five bars. It goes in there. We can establish our initial risk by placing a stop order three pips above the trigger bar. Once we establish the distance in pips, we can position size accordingly. So we only risk a certain predetermined percentage of the account. We can put in our profit target one at one times the initial risk. If we move back down and take profit target one out, we exit half the trade and move the balance to break even, putting in profit target two. So those are the basic rules, but as I say, I encourage you to go back and watch the initial video to get a better grasp of the actual rules of engagement of this strategy. Now let's go on to the charts and I'll show you this in real price data. Okay, so typically I will have my screens set up like this. So on the right hand side of the screen, you've got the anchor chart here, it's the one hour chart. And on the left hand side of the screen, you've got our trade chart and this is the five minute chart. This is the Euro USD. I'm using some back testing software called Forex Tester 3, but of course you can back test this using any software that you choose. You see here the anchor chart, 
price is below the 8 and the 21 moving average. That means we're looking for sell trades only. So we keep an eye on this anchor chart and then drill back down to the entry chart, which is the five minute chart. As I say, you can also use this strategy on the 15 minute as well. So we're now looking for a pullback of the price into the eight moving average on the lower time frame entry chart. Every time I hit the space bar, price is gonna move on another five minutes of data. So I'm waiting for a pullback into this green line, the eight moving average. Okay, so there is our trigger bar. I now need to place a pending sell stop order, three pips below the lowest of the last five bars, which would come in around there. And at the same time, I'm gonna place a stop order, three pips above the high of the trigger bar, which would put us in about there. Now, once we've established our initial risk, we put in our first profit target as well, at one times risk. So that will be down here. And we place that order. Now, because I'm exiting the trade potentially in two parts, I place this order twice at the same time to allow for two exit strategy. Stop will be in the same place, but now the take profit target two will be at two times risk. So that's gonna be down there. So we just scroll on through to see how this reacts. Okay, so now it executes our pending sell stop order. We've now got the trade on. First profit target's been taken. Stop would have been moved to break even. And indeed takes out profit target two as well. I'll now scroll on through, looking for some more opportunities. I'll speed the camera up rather than waste all your time. See here, price is moving above the moving averages, but of course price is below or in between the moving averages on the anchor chart, so no trade setups are here. Okay, so here is a potential setup. The price is below the moving averages on the one hour, waiting for these moving averages to fan out on the five minute. Okay, they're beginning to fan out now, so we're waiting for a pullback into the eight moving average. And there's a potential setup there. So we place our order three pips below the low of the last five bars, which comes in at around there. Our stop order is going to be three pips above the trigger bar, which will be there. It's 10 pips. So our first profit target is going to be one times risk, which will be down here. And we do that twice because it's a two exit strategy. So there we've got two exits in, and let's see what happens. Okay, well on the next bar, you'll see price has moved up. It's actually closed above the 21 moving average, which basically means this order setup is now no longer valid. Remember, if we see a close above the 21 or below the 21, if you're selling, if you're buying, of course, then it cancels the trade. So we'll delete that trade from the order book. Okay, so here's another potential sell setup. One hour chart, price is below the moving averages, drilling down to the five minute chart. Moving averages are nicely fanned out. Looking for a pullback into the eight moving average. Okay, there's a touch of the eight moving average. We count about five bars, one, two, three, four, five. We place a pending sell stop order, three pips below the low of the last five bars. So that will come in at 12.47, which is about there. We have our stop, three pips above the trigger bar, which will be about there. So that's showing us about a 35 pip profit target. So that will come down to about there. So we place that order. Now, as always, we want to exit in two parts. So we exit the trade in two tranches and we'll see how this one plays out. So our sell stop has been triggered. So we've entered a short trade. Took its time that one. First take profit target has been hit. We move balance to break even. On the second half of the trade, 
and take profit target hit twice as well there. Now clearly I'm picking trades here that work. I'll show you some that don't, but I want you to get the idea of how to place these orders. Not to show you how profitable it is, you've got to go and do your own back testing for that. Okay, so here's another example just to give you an idea. Remember this is really simple, this strategy. Price is above on the one hour. So looking for buy entries only, looking at the fan out moving averages of the five minute. Scrolling on through, uh, we got a touch there of the eight moving average. We place a pending buy stop order. Three pips above there, which comes in about there. Stops three pips below the trigger bar, which comes in at about uh, there. Okay, first take profit target is going to be there. And our second profit target would be up here. And we'll see how we go. By trade entered. First take profit target hit. Stop to break even on the second half. And second profit target hit. Here we are on a sell trade. Price is below on the anchor chart. Drilling down to the five minute chart, waiting for a pullback into the eight moving average. There you go. So count back five bars. One, two, three, four, five. Place in a sell stop order at about there. The stop loss order Three pips above goes in at there and the profit target is going to be down here somewhere. Place that order. And we'll see how we play out. OK, we're in the trade. We've sold this currency pair. We get stopped out immediately on the next candle. So this is one that didn't work. Prices moves against us but that's of course why we have the protective stops in there okay so those examples were on of course the back testing software but also also i think it's important that you look at this in the real live market so today is the 14th of september you can see here the dates it's Friday the 14th of september and we're looking at potential setups this is the euro against the uh, australian dollar you'll see that the moving averages are up on the one hour and on the uh, five minutes, we've just had a touch here of the eight moving average. So I'm going to put in my two trades here, my two trades at a break above this high. So the high at the moment is 59 by counting by five candles. So I'm going to put in a level at 62. I'm going to enter a buy trade and I'll be entering that twice. So I've got two buy trades going in there at that price and my stops going to be below the trigger bar. Now remember, if this price closes below the 21, we're going to pull that trade. But we're waiting, waiting for the price to move higher. I have got a potential 12 pip stop. So my first profit target will be 12 pips higher should we take out that trade. So we'll just wait here and see what happens. OK, just looking back at this uh, Euro Oz, see price did uh, pip below the 21 moving average, but we haven't closed below the 21 moving average. So this trade is still on at the moment, looking to push higher, uh, still yet to enter. We'll keep an eye. OK, it's moving in now on our buy stop and we are now in the trade. So we've got our two take profit targets set and our stop loss level set. And we'll see how this plays out. Remember, if we get to TP1, We'll move the stop to break even. I'll pause the video now and then come back when we've had some movement. OK, so we're coming into uh, TP1 here. Just another couple of pips. OK, this is live. That bounced right off the TP1. Uh, so we didn't get the trade off there. So we're still in the trade. But we've got our protective stop in, so we're not getting worried about that. OK, so we rolled off TP1 by the smallest of margins. We're now back to entry, but we're still in the trade. Stops in place. We'll see how it develops. OK, we just had uh, US retail sales have come out. So that's why you're seeing a bit of volatility creeping in here now to the Euro Oz. So we'll see how this affects our trade. 
Okay, it bounced off uh, TP1 again, just here. And we're out of the trade at TP1. And stops now moved to break even on the second part of the trade. So the beauty of this, of course, now is that we are on a risk-free trade for the second tranche. Okay, that's the second half of the trade out at break even. So that's uh, just a quick example here on Friday afternoon, the 14th of September, just before we publish the YouTube video. Um, if I had more time, of course, I'd show you more examples. I do encourage you, of course, to now go and do some back testing on this yourself. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. I also hope that I've been able to prove to you that trading doesn't have to be complicated. This strategy will take you five minutes to learn. Look, I hope you liked my video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know how you're getting on with this strategy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and hit that notification icon. In that way, you'll get notified the moment my next video has been released. You can follow us on Instagram as well to keep abreast of what's going on behind the scenes. To my next video, happy trading and good luck.